hi everyone welcome back to my channel my name is Becky Setre I hope you're doing well so in today's video I'm going to be talking about how to become a clinical research nurse this video was a request from one of my subscribers who would like me to do this video I don't work as a clinical research nurse but I've done my research so I've got all the information for you so if you would like to know more about becoming a clinical research nurse in the UK why not watch the video to the end hi everyone welcome back to my channel my name is Becky Setra if this is the first time you're watching my video why not like subscribe and share so I'm a UK registered nurse and I do a lot of nursing videos about career progression how to relocate and advise carers nurses and you know as to what you should do to progress if you want to so today as I said in the introduction this video has been requested by one of my subscribers who would like to know how to become a clinical research nurse in the UK so I've got my list as to what you need to do so let's keep going so in order to become a UK uh, clinical research nurse you must be working already in the UK and you need at least two years of experience in the nursing field in the UK if it is in that specialist area for example if the research nursing role is in cardiology or respiratory if you have been working in cardiology or respiratory then it's advantageous but most often it's not really normally you do not need a research qualification in order to become a clinical research nurse. However, some knowledge in research would be advantageous. Not only research, maybe audit and all that. If you haven't undertaken a research yourself, but you have contributed to a research project or data collection or anything in your department, this is something you know you can talk about because most often most of the specialist nursing roles you are trained on the job so what do research nurses do at all in the UK I'm talking about clinical research nurses so they are identify and help in recruiting patients for several types of research projects they also uh, support patients through clinical trials and all sorts of different research uh, trials they perform the study assessment they ensure data collection or data is reported they, you have to be able to work autonomously so you should be able to manage your own caseload or workload and you have to also be able to work as part of the team so what are some of the desirable skills so if you have teaching or mentorship certificate that is good if you haven't even done it but you are working towards it or about to complete it that's also good a degree in a specialty field is also um, advantageous but as I said in the beginning you really don't need a research qualification but if you have these then it is desirable um, another thing is if you have already got some research related qualification even better experience so if you have some experience um, delivering evidence-based work or nursing as you know as nurses anything we do is evidence-based so if you can prove that you deliver evidence-based care then that is fine you need a significant post registration experience of explaining complex concepts to patients um, in a very simplified manner so that's very important as well and you need some experience of acting 
as a patient advocate and some research positions require you to have experience in phlebotomy so being able to take bloods some would also require you to be able to give IV medication in some situation not all research jobs require that um, other desirable skills include clinical research as I said before computer literacy because when you're getting all this data and things you should be able to use the computer and put data in systems so that is very good as well if you have it understanding audit is important so what sort of band are research nurses so research nurses most research jobs are band six occasionally you'll see a band five but majority research nursing roles are band six roles if you're working in london as a research nurse your salary would be between so you're starting as a band six would be 38,768 to 46,124 per annum that is based on 2022 2023 i don't know what it would be for 2023 24 so now if you're based outside of london and you go for a research job as a band six your salary would be between 32,306 pounds to 39,000 pounds and 27 uh, and 27 per annum that is for outside of London now some of the recruiters as I said may recruit as band five but you can start with that gain experience move up to band six if you want working pattern normally for research nurses they work monday to friday usually either 8 to 4 30 or 8 to 5 or 9 to 5 it depends and some occasionally will be required to work at the weekend but it depends now you have to if you want to go for a research job you need to actually go on the NHS jobs website that is where you'll find research jobs advertised you can google that in the UK as well because not only the NHS recruits research nurses there are a lot of private companies out there that do research and do require the services of research nurses so you can look at that now if you're really interested in becoming a research nurse one of the things you need to do is wherever hospital you're working at you can actually uh, contact your research and development team for advice i'm going to talk in to be talking about that in a bit what are some of the roles that they have in clinical research so they have clinical research nurse they have research and development nurse they have research midwife so you can be a midwife research person research sister or charge nurse senior clinical research nurse there is research nurse manager there is research associate lecturer and many many more as well so once again if you really really want to go into research speak to your research and development lead or team they can actually advise you and put you in touch with someone probably help you to arrange to shadow somebody so work under somebody so you can learn about what they do um, because there are a lot of research organizations and departments out there and you also have to look at a research vacancy on the NHS job website go through and look at what the job description says look at what the person specification says by looking at that it helps you to know exactly what you need to do in order to get the job so what you don't have you can start working towards that in order to go for the job now if you do want to do a course to help you in a research field in order to get a job then there are a few research courses out there there is clinical health research there is a clinical trials msc or postgraduate diploma or postgraduate certificate 
If you're a starter, probably you can try a postgraduate certificate. You can check and see if there's an online one. You can do distance learning and pay yourself. There is health research methods, MSc or postgraduate diploma or postgraduate certificate. There is MSc research. Um, there is nursing and applied health and several other little research courses. I'm going to add a link as to how you can assess some of these courses. I hope that this video has been helpful, especially to you who have requested that I do this video to help you and any other person who would find it um, beneficial, especially those who would like to go into research. As I said, it's Monday to Friday, they don't work night. So sometimes you find that your money is not as much. However, because you might not be working on weekends, you might be able to maybe pick up one um, extra shift, either night or day shift on a ward or agency or whatever in order to make up a bit extra money. Uh, because you also want to keep your clinical skills because as soon as you divert into research, it's research, research, research. You're not going to be doing all those things on the ward. And if you want to remain a ward nurse as well, then it would be helpful to do a couple of shifts here and there to keep up your clinical skills. But if you feel research is going to be what you want to do, then you know what just concentrate and do research 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 i hope this has been helpful remember to like subscribe and share take care of yourselves and i'll see you again soon Bye bye